frame 230 is an extremely important frame has always been a key element in my own deductions and analysis. That frame shows Governor Connolly, who is sitting directly in front of President Kennedy, still clutching a large white Texas Stetson hat in his right hand, clutched between his thumb and forefinger. The nerve that permits that kind of apposition is the ulnar nerve. That nerve had been severed in Governor Connolly by the bullet that pierced his right wrist. I don't think that there would be a delayed action to a wound uh, that was as massive as the wound he received of his chest. And I'm also influenced by what Nellie Connolly said. She said that her husband was struck and reared up like a wounded animal before she heard the bullet, I mean, heard the shot that had been fired. So this would indicate uh, that uh, his reaction was almost immediate. Let me emphasize that there is no conceivable way that a person who is not under the influence of drugs, alcohol, or who is not involved in a kind of a military situation uh, where you have tremendous stress taking over and all kinds of things happening to your um, endocrine system, there's no way for an individual to sustain uh, three holes into, uh, well, actually, um, one, two, three, four, five holes into and out of the chest, into and out of the wrist, and into the left thigh, and to have major structures damaged in the fashion that I referred to before and still remain alert. There simply is no way that his face could appear um, so tranquil as is demonstrated in 230 with not the slightest suggestion of any kind of pain, nothing that has been evoked by all of these bullet wounds, and there's no way that that right wrist could have continued to clutch uh, the large uh, Texas uh, Stetson hat after the nerve had been severed.